Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. So today we are actually going to go over the top winter scents from Bath and Body Works. These are scents in my collection. Some of them are older, some of them are newer. We're going to start with the newer fragrances and then work through to the ones that are from like older collections or other years. So if that sounds interesting to you, I would love if you stick around and watch this video. Also, if you do enjoy content like this, I would love if you take a moment and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we're just going to go ahead and get right into this today. We are going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the Traditions collection. And this is a collection that pretty much comes back every single year. This isn't the packaging from this year on these, but they are back this year. So they have these same scents available at Bath & Body Works. My packaging might look a little bit different because I do have some from different years. So the first one is Vanilla Bean Noel. So this is a Christmas classic. This is definitely one that a lot of people pick up during the Christmas season. So the fragrance notes on this one are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. This smells really good. It's like a kind of a gourmand vanilla scent. I think it smells really good. I have the bottle from last year and I think last year they actually did a really good job on this fragrance. It blended together really well and smelled really good to me. This was one of the best years I think that they put out for Vanilla Bee Noel was last year. Now I have not picked up this year so if you guys have let me know in the comments if it's the same as last year's or in prior years. This one usually stays somewhat the same. It can kind of change up throughout years because I did notice this one was really good last year and it definitely took my attention to it, which every other year I dislike this scent. But this last year's smelled so delicious. It's definitely a gourmand vanilla scent. It smells delicious. You can get that cookie, the whipped cream, you can get the vanilla in here. It smells so cozy and comforting. To me, this vanilla scent is just so cozy. So I love this one. They do have Vanilla Bee Noel available right now if you are interested. It is in different packaging. The next one in the Traditions collection is this Winter Candy Apple scent. So mine is from a couple years ago, I believe. This is when they also bring back every single year. So the fragrance notes on here are red apples, winter rose petals, candied oranges, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. I really like this one because it does give a twist on that apple scent and it does smell a lot more seasonal to me. This definitely smells like a winter apple scent because it does have that cinnamon in there and the rose just levels this up a little bit more. I love the combination of the apple and rose in this one, but then the cinnamon does make it feel more holiday-like and it's not a spicy cinnamon at all, so don't worry about that. It's not a spicy scent. I would term this more as a sweet fruity scent. But it does have a little floral in there with that rose. I definitely do get the rose in this one. So if you don't like rose, you may dislike this one. In my opinion, this combination is really good. I love how it smells together with the apple and roses. That's kind of a combination you don't really come across too often otherwise, except for this Bath & Body Works scent. But I think those two notes go together really well. So the third one in the Holiday Traditions collection is this Twisted Peppermint. And I only have the body cream right now. I actually have the Fragrance Mist being delivered here in the next few days because I did want to pick this one up this year. Every other year I've kind of avoided this one because I'm not a big candy cane person. I don't really like peppermint scents too much, but this one is a little bit different because it's more like a gourmand peppermint. So the fragrance notes on here are cool peppermint, sugared snow, fresh balsam, and vanilla buttercream. It does give you more of a gourmand take on peppermint, I would say, but you definitely do get that peppermint. So the peppermint is still there and in your face, but you do get the sweetness to it and you definitely get like a buttercreamy 
ness to this. As far as fresh balsam and the sugared snow, I'm not sure about that. I mainly get more of like a sweet buttercream with that peppermint scent. The balsam kind of takes a backseat in this, in my opinion. This does not seem green or woody or anything like that. To me, it's like a sweet sugary candy cane with like a buttercream frosting almost and it's delicious. I do like this one. That's why I did pick up the fragrance mist and that one is on its way. So I'm super excited to try that one out. Then we have some other scents as well. They actually had a collection this year called the Polar Collection, I believe. So some of these scents are from the Polar Collection. I don't have all of the scents from this year. So the packaging may differ because I have picked up some of these in years past and I will clarify that as we go. So the first one is this Bright Christmas Morning and I only have the body cream in this one and I'm also waiting for the fragrance mist of this one to arrive as well. I shopped that $5.95 sale so I do have a couple things coming. So I do have this one coming. This one's a very juicy scent so if you like really fruity juicy scents this is definitely one you want to check out. This bright Christmas morning one has notes of ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. It's just so juicy and fruity. This reminds me of a holiday punch like a drink kind of like, um, you know how they have punch bowls and you serve yourself punch at certain holiday events. That is what this gives. It definitely gives like a fruity juiciness. It's really nice. It doesn't really make me think of Christmas just by smelling it. It's just like a really juicy, fruity scent and I'm all here for it. The packaging definitely gives Christmas on this though. So that's kind of nice. I do like the packaging because it is pretty cute. So this Bright Christmas Morning one is really good. So juicy, fruity, and fun. Then we're going to move on to the next one. So this one actually is from this year as well. And this one is called Snowflakes and Cashmere. The fragrance notes on this one are Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, and Frosted Clementine. I wasn't a huge fan of this one for a few years, but now I've come back around to using this one and I don't mind it at all. Before the clementine note was kind of throwing me off where now I get more of the vanilla. Yeah, I definitely get a little more of that vanilla and caramel this time around. I did pick up a new one this year, as you guys can see. This is the packaging from this year. I've only really used this one once so far, but I'm definitely planning on using this a lot more. Definitely going to pull this one out a lot more as the season goes on. I'm excited I get to use this one because in the years past, I just really dislike this scent, but I actually picked up the cream to this scent as well, and I do enjoy it a lot more with the cream that matches this. It just makes it smell a lot more vanilla-like. I think the body cream actually is a little bit sweeter than the fragrance mist on the snowflakes and cashmere scent. So now we have strawberry snowflakes. This was my favorite one last year. So strawberry snowflakes is out this year. This is the packaging from last year. I fell in love with strawberry snowflakes last year, so I do have a little mini as well as the big one. For most of these fragrance mists, I do have the body creams or lotions to go with these as well. I'm just not pulling that out because that'd be a lot of stuff to go over. So Strawberry Snowflakes has fragrance notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. This is just like a really icy strawberry kind of scent. It's really creamy. I love how creamy this scent is. So if you picked up the lotion, the EOS lotion in Strawberry Dream that recently came out, that gives me a Strawberry Snowflakes. Strawberry Dream by EOS and the Strawberry Snowflakes by Bath & Body Works, those two, I swear, are almost spot on dupes to each other. So they go really well together. I've actually used that lotion with this numerous times, but I also do have the Strawberry Snowflakes lotion as well. I think this is just a really great scent. I love the creamy strawberry of this and it's a little bit cool from that iced bergamot so it does give you kind of like an icy 
vibe, but I love how creamy this is. This gives strawberry cream savers. If you are familiar with those little hard candies that are like red and white striped, or it might be pink and white striped. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't had one of those in years, but that gives this scent. That is like the strawberry cream that it gives. So this is a little bit candy-like for sure. I definitely like this one. There's a little bit of freshness in here as well with that bergamot though. This won me over last year. Still one of my favorites. Definitely keep grabbing for it. So I love this one. And this one is out this year as well, but this is different packaging. So this is Frosted Coconut Snowball. And the fragrance notes on here are frosted coconut, whipped vanilla, sugar crystals, winter freesia, and snow-kissed woods. I thought I was going to like this one a lot more when I originally picked this up. I thought it was going to be more like a coconut dessert type scent because I just related it with those little cookies, like they're little round cookies and they have coconut on them and people serve them usually around the holidays. I thought it was going to be more like that, but it's definitely not. So you definitely get the coconut, but it's not a gourmand at all. Yeah, so you get the coconut, but you also do get the floral in here as well. It's like a blended coconut scent. It is a really nice blend. I do like how it all comes together. It doesn't really give me holiday vibes completely or anything like that. It's a really nice coconut scent and it does have like a floral element in here as well, which kind of levels it up for a coconut scent. So I do like this one. It's just kind of not exactly what I was expecting at first. I don't tend to reach for this one that much. A lot of times I love to use coconut scents more in the summer and in the winter I kind of back away from a lot of coconut scents just because I have overused them in the summer. This one is different though. It's not like it's like a tropical coconut or anything like that. It's like a kind of a muted down coconut with that floral. And as far as the whipped vanilla, I mean I get a little bit of it but not a ton of vanilla either. I'm getting more of the floral and the coconut in this one. So let's move on to some past scents. So these are some scents that I have really loved from Bath & Body Works in the past, and these are ones that they have not brought back this year. So the first one I have here is Christmas Cookies. This was one of my all-time favorites forever, and I still really love it. This definitely gives you a nice cookie scent. It's kind of like a buttery rum type cookie scent, in my opinion. So the fragrance notes on here are Creamy Cookie Dough, Almond Biscotti, and Caramel Woods. This doesn't really give me any woodiness. This is definitely more of like a gourmand. I mean, there's a slight maybe perfuminess to this, but I'm really getting more of like the cookie and the gourmandness of this scent. To me, like I said, it kind of gives like this rum scent. It's very buttery as well. So if you like a buttery scent, this might be something you want to try out. Although they do not have this one this year. I believe they have not brought this one back for a few years now. I picked this up, I think, two years ago. It smells delicious. I really hope that they do bring this one back someday. So this one is Ice Sugar Plum, and this one came out a few years ago as well. I really love this one. This one, I believe, only came out one time, and that was it. So I don't know if it will ever come out ever again. The fragrance notes on here are Sparkling Sugar Plum, Snowdrop Petals, and Whipped Marshmallow. I love the marshmallow in here and the plum mixed together. This gives something kind of gourmand. I really like this one. A lot of people did not like this one when it came out because it's not like an overly strong plum scent or anything, but it is mixed with that marshmallow. And I love that marshmallow in here. This one kind of gives a fruity cereal with milk. I, I don't know why I get that from this one, but that's kind of what it gives me. And I'm all here for it. I love it. I love this scent. It just smells really fluffy and marshmallowy. And then with that added plum, it smells really good. It's like creamy and plum and marshmallow and very sweet. I 
really like this one. I wish they brought this one back at some point, but I know a lot of people were not that happy when this one came out. So I'm not sure if this one is going to ever come back again, but in my opinion, I do really like this one. Next up is one that a lot of people love. So this is Wrapped in Vanilla. This hasn't come out for a few years as well. So the fragrance notes on here are Soft Vanilla, Velvet Sugar, and Chantilly Cream. I believe this only came out the one time and then it never came out ever again. And I'm very surprised about it because this was a very, very, very popular scent. So I would think that they would bring this back one day, but I'm not sure, maybe not, because we haven't seen it for a few years, even though it was super popular at the time when it did come out. This was termed as like one of the best vanilla scents when it came out. And I agree. I think it smells really good. It smells like vanilla frosting. It's just like a straight up vanilla frosting. It smells delicious. I love this one. I really think they should bring this one back because it was very popular when this came out. This was definitely one of the best vanillas that Bath & Body Works has ever put out in my opinion. It's so creamy and just smooth and rich and decadent all at the same time. It is a delicious gourmand fragrance. I absolutely love Wrapped in Vanilla. It's definitely a top tier type of scent. Absolutely love this one. Next up, we have one that has returned for many years, but not this year. And this one is Winter Berry Wonder. So the fragrance notes on this one are Ruby Frost Winter Berry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla. I haven't used this one in a while, but this one is a very kind of cranberry berry scent. Yeah, I definitely get like a cranberry. So there is sparkling cranberry in here. And that's pretty much what you get is the cranberry and a berry. It does say there is crystal vanilla in here, but I'm really not getting a vanilla note. I'm just getting like a cranberry and berry scent out of this one. Like I said, this one has returned quite a while, but this year it did not return. So I never picked up the lotion to this one. I don't really use it that often because I don't have the lotion for this one. But I do need to pull this one out and use it a little bit this year. This one is a nice scent. It's a very berry cranberry scent, but I would say it leans more cranberry than berry. So it is a little bit sharp because of that cranberry. I still like it. I think it smells really good. It's not super juicy or anything like that. It's not like as juicy as bright Christmas morning at all, but it's still a nice scent. And if you do like cranberry scents, which I mean, you don't really see cranberry scents that often. And this does have a cranberry note in it. If you do like cranberry scents, this is one that you might like, but they do not have this one this year. They will possibly bring this one back next year. This one came out multiple times and the version that I picked up was from last winter. So that's why this is in this video. So this is Dahlia. And the notes on here are Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. This smells so good. I was a little bit hesitant about picking this one up originally because it is a floral scent but it smells delicious. And I actually think I get a little bit more of that pear scent than the actual floral. It's definitely mixed with a heavy pear. And there is like a creaminess in the scent as well. I think this is a beautiful scent. This is a little bit more perfumey than some of the other scents, but this one is just so gorgeous. I love this one. Definitely need to pull this one out a little bit more. And it's a great winter fragrance. It's got kind of just that kind of vibe. Next up is one of my all time favorites, but they haven't brought this one back for quite a while. This one is Vanilla Mocha Martini. And the fragrance notes on here are Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. This one has not come back for a few years now. And I think this is such a delicious, an amazing scent. I really wish they would bring this one back. It's one of my favorites for sure. It's so cozy too. It's a very comforting and cozy scent in my opinion. 
you definitely get a coffee you get a chocolate as well and i think the chocolate in here is done really well a lot of times chocolate in perfumes can really smell off and in this one it goes together really well with that coffee note and as far as the vanilla i think that's just adding creaminess to this scent it smells delicious though I don't know if I would term this like a full on gourmand, but it does give me gourmand vibes for sure because of that coffee, that chocolate, that vanilla that blends everything together. I'm almost getting like, I feel like I'm getting like a little bit of cinnamon, but I don't think that that's in here. It doesn't list that in the notes. It might be like a touch of cinnamon, but mostly you definitely get like a coffee and a chocolate scent. But I love how they did the chocolate in this scent. It's very well done and it's blended together really well as well. So I do have another chocolate scent from Bath & Body Works as well. And this is the Hot Cocoa and Cream. This does not have scent notes on the back. So if I can find these scent notes, I will drop them on the screen for you guys to see. This is a chocolate cream scent as well. But in my opinion, this one is not done nearly as well as vanilla mocha cream, or maybe that coffee note in there just brings everything together. This does smell like chocolate. It gives more of like a chocolate powder though. So it's more of a milk chocolate and then you get more of like a powder vibe. So it makes me think of like the um, cocoa, like a cocoa mix. That's what this makes me think of is mixing up some cocoa powder and water and then putting some whipped cream on the top that is what this gives and it's a milk chocolate type of scent it's not like a super rich chocolate it's definitely more of a milky chocolate scent oh actually we missed one so we're gonna go back because we missed one out of the polar collection and this one actually is available right now so this one is magic in the air this is one of my newfound favorites i would have to say i am loving this scent i really like this one this is one of my favorites of this year and this is the first time i've ever picked up this scent it hasn't been around in a few years i know this one has come out before i just never picked this one up so the fragrance notes on here are almond flower sparkling persimmon white iris whipped vanilla bourbon and fluffy sandalwood so the packaging is the same as this year because i picked this one up this year this is such a nice fragrance you definitely get kind of a fluffiness and like a softness but you also do get a perfumey aspect to this as well from all the floral in here. There is a lot of floral in here, but it blends really, really well with those other notes. And in my opinion, I think the floral is done really well in here. It did not give me a headache or anything like that. So I've been really enjoying this scent. This is definitely one of my favorites of the year is Magic in the Air this year. So now let's go to some of those standalone fragrances that have come out. So this year we actually got Perfect in Pink, which is right here. This is a cherry fragrance. Uh, cherry's been very, very popular this year. The fragrance notes on here are Vibrant Cherries, Pink Camellia, Whipped Almond Cream. So it's... A little different than I expected when I picked this one up. It's okay. It's not like my favorite. I think I'm getting a little bit tired of cherry scents though. So that's probably why. So this gives kind of a kind of a darker cherry in my opinion. To me, it's not a super vibrant cherry. It's kind of a a little bit darker than vibrant, I would say. And then you do get the floral in here. So I would have to say it's mostly the floral and the cherry in here. It does say that there's whipped almond cream in here, but I don't really get much almond, only a touch, a very small touch of almond. And as far as whipped, I'm not sure. It's not giving me super fluffy or anything like that. It's a decent cherry scent if you're looking for a cherry scent. It's not super dark, like it's not black cherry, but it's a little bit darker cherry than just like a sparkling cherry or something like that. So 
If you do like cherry scents, you might want to check this one out. Then we had another standalone fragrance come out as well, and this is Platinum. So the fragrance notes on this one are Sparkling Bergamot, Silver Blooms, and Patchouli Musk. I think this is a really nice fragrance. It's a little bit mature, but not too mature at all. And of course, anyone at any age can wear any fragrance. It is more of a complex scent, I would have to say. There's a lot of notes kind of playing around together. There's definitely a brightness to this, but there's also like a deep perfuminess as well. Definitely a heavy perfuminess as well, but there is a sweetness and kind of a citrus note in here too. So it kind of brightens it up a little bit. I really like this one. I think this one would be pretty good for New Year's. So definitely, you know, keep that in mind. You may want to pull this one out on New Year's because that's kind of the vibe that this one gives me. So we had a standalone one come out last year and I actually really like this one, but I know not everyone was a huge fan of this one. This one is called Luminous. And the fragrance notes on here are Ruby Current, Gilded Iris, and Praline Amber. This is a very powdery scent. So if you do not like powdery scents, you're not going to like Luminous. This one is from last year, so you can't just go to Bath & Body Works and pick this one up. You would have to get it like on a reseller site or something like that. But I do like how powdery this is. This is super powdery. So if you don't like a powdery scent, you're definitely not going to like this. But if you love a powdery scent, this is such a powdery scent. And it's definitely kind of like an upscale type perfume as well. So it's very perfumey and very powdery. And I do like this one quite a bit, but I know not everyone was a fan of this one. So now I have just a couple left here and these could be considered not really winter scents. I mean, you could definitely wear these any time of year, but in reality, you could wear any of these any time of year. So this one is You're the One. And the fragrance notes on here are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. This one is a little bit more like mature as well. It kind of gives you more of like an upscale type feel. To me, this smells like walking into like a department store with perfumes and stuff. It kind of gives you that kind of vibe. It's definitely very perfumey though. So you have to like a perfumey scent for this one. I actually love this one. I know that might be kind of weird because I don't tend to like really perfumey scents, but I think this one is done in such a great way. I love this one. I wouldn't be wearing this one every single day, but I think this one is a really, really nice fragrance. And I could see wearing this one out to multiple places. It just smells so good with that woody rose. I don't really get much of the strawberry. It's more of like a woody rose. So if you like rose scents, you might want to check this one out. This is probably my favorite rose scent in my collection. It's just done different than all the other rose scents that I have. And I also wanted to mention the other one that came out with this one this year. So You're the One is actually in store right now. You can go pick this one up, but it's in different packaging. Mine's from like a year or so ago. You can pick this one up. It was released this winter as well. And it was released with Forever Red, which I used to have in my collection, but I decluttered that one. It just wasn't smelling right on my skin. A lot of people say Forever Red smells like a Swedish fish like that candy but to me it did not give me that it gave me almost more of like a weird citrus cleaner smell on my skin so it just wasn't working with my chemistry but forever red is also a winter scent and that is available right now as well and then I have this one right here which came out as a repackage not too long ago this is a thousand wishes I do have an older version I love this as a winter scent though this is a very girly and feminine perfumey winter scent 
So the fragrance notes on here are Pink Prosecco, Sparkling Quince, Crystal Peonies, Gilded Amber, and Amaretto Cream. I love this. I recently picked up the new Body Butter to go with this, and I've been loving that as well. I love A Thousand Wishes. It's just so sweet and girly. You could definitely wear this one pretty much any time of year. For me, I love wearing this one in the fall and winter. It's just a very girly, creamy scent, and I love it. So I did want to mention they do have a, another scent and it's called Sweater Weather. That one is available as an online exclusive. So you can actually order that one online. I do not have that one. I actually did purchase Sweater Weather, but I ended up decluttering it because I was not a fan of Sweater Weather. But that one is on there and available as well. I would love if you go ahead and drop your favorite winter fragrances down in the comments. I would love to know what Bath & Body Works fragrances that you love for winter. Go ahead and comment that below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. If you do enjoy content like this, I would definitely love for you to take a moment and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I do new videos every single week and I would love to have you as a subscriber. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.